Hi guys, in this video I want to quickly go over how you can edit your PlayStation memory cards from your RG350 and even back them up if you wanted to. I haven't been able to find any information online so hopefully this helps. As you can see from this example I've ran into an issue where all of the save blocks are full because of something going wrong with my Gex Gecko saves. I could just use another memory card but I'd rather fix the issue to begin with. When I check in Gex, none of the save blocks are showing, so there's definitely an issue here. So the first thing we want to do is to go into the file management tool and we need to locate the memory cards. I'll put on screen where the default location is for the PlayStation 1 memory cards, just in case you can't follow the on-screen instructions. So there's the memory cards. Um, what we need to do is we need to go all the way back up. And then if we go to the media folder and then SD card, and you can save it anywhere in here, but I'm gonna um, save it in the PlayStation ROMs folder uh, just to make things easier. Uh, so what you need to do is pretty simple. Um, if you just press X on the um, first memory card which is the one that I was using and if you just copy that over to the SD card um, and just double check that that's in there yep that looks good so what you want to do is put the SD card into your computer what we need to do is find the memory card so we put it in ROMs PlayStation and it should be there we go MCD001. So that's the memory card we need to alter. Okay, we've got the memory card there. So what we need now is we need a tool um, or something to be able to access that. And what I recommend is something called EPSX E205, which is it's just an emulator really for PlayStation, but it's I definitely recommend it. I'll include a link below to where you can download this. All you need to do is uh, go to this website, um, pretty straightforward, and then download the emulator for whichever system you're using. Once you've downloaded that, you should get a zip folder, and if you extract that, you should get all of these contents. Some things may be different, but it should be pretty much straightforward. So what I'd recommend is mem cards. Uh, the folder that should just be automatically there. So what I'd say is delete the first one if there's one already there. There may not be. Uh, there may be no memory cards in here at all. And then if you just copy uh, the one that we've taken from the RG350 across. And then what we need to do is if you go back to the main folder is we need to run the actual EPSX E um, emulator. So if we just double click that quickly, you should get a window that looks like this. The good thing about this emulator is you can access the BIOS of the PlayStation. Um, what does that mean? Let's let's take a look. So in if you go into File and Run BIOS, you actually get the original PlayStation um, BIOS boot up, which is great for what we need because we can get straight into Memory Card, and then in here. If you just give that a second, in here you should see all of those GEC saves which is causing the issue. So what I can do is I can actually go in here and delete out whatever it is that I need. So for example, let me just delete these all quickly. Okay, so we deleted all the duplicate saves, um, so we can exit out of this. Uh, we can just close this application now, um, but if you want to double check that everything's okay with your memory card, you can go back in. So what we want to do now, if you go back into memory cards, we can copy, copy this back over. Yep, replace the file because that was the one that had the issue. Um, you can keep these here. 
could be a good backup. Um, yeah, it's entirely up to you. Do what you like with those right now. Um, but that's everything we need to do on the computer. So if we just close this down and go back over to the RG350. Right, so over back to the RG350. We've got the SD card back in. Okay, that's in. So what we want to do is just get it booted back up. And what we need to do now is to put that memory card in the in the correct location. So if we go back into the file management tool, uh, what we need to do is so if we find the original location for the memory cards, there we go. So this is the one that we need to replace. And then if we go back into media, uh, this one here, uh, SD card and the ROMs, PlayStation, and we should have the, there we go, there's the memory card file in there. So if you press X, the top button on here, and then if you, uh, in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this one first before we copy the other one over. Um, so always just make sure that you're deleting the correct one before you go ahead. Uh, so if you press X, and then if you just press delete, yep, get rid of that one. And then they hit this one here, just press X on that again, and copy, and that will automatically copy over to the left. So now what we need to do is we need to just quickly test that everything we've just done is correct. So just give it a quick restart. And if we go back into, uh, let's pick. So if we go back into croc, it's a bit of a weird example, but it's, it's a good one because it shows the memory cards. So what we want to do is we want to go into, um, load game, which should show us all the memory card saves. Um, let's have a look. So if we're going to load game and all going well, we should only have one get save, which, yep, yeah, that's fine. So everything we've done on the computer has transferred over. And um, that's one easy way of editing the um, save files. I don't know if there's a way you can do it within the RG350 to get into the PlayStation 1 BIOS. Um, if there is a way of doing it, that would be great, but I can't seem to find any information online, so this is the only way that I've found to do it. Um, hopefully the video helps someone, even if it's just one person, that would be great. Um, but if not, this is going to be a reminder to myself if I ever forget. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Um, Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. If there's any more questions, if there's anything you need help with with the RG350, um, let me know and I'll see if I can do another video. So I love this little handheld. It's it's absolutely brilliant. I've used it way more than I thought I would. Um, so cheers to that, guys.